Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much <laughs> missed wave A. I went to McDonald's. And I missed wave A of pools. I missed all of the hype matches. Hey, man, man's got to eat, dude. Yeah, really. I came here, like, with nothing in my stomach. I'm not, I'm not about to die here at Hail to the King. So this is not my time or the place. Okay, Sheep going with Corrin. I knew we played some sort of uh, sword fighter. It used to be Cloud, I think. But now going with Corrin. There's been a lot of people singing Corrin's praises recently, saying she's not as bad as a lot of people think. But Poyo has been a monster off stage. How? He must have taken his second jump. So, like, there's no way you, you can edge guard Corrin that. It looked, like, effortlessly. Boy is so good at controlling his space, and if he, if he gets you off stage, you better be sweating. But SD Sheep can still get it done. Does he have a double jump? Oh, he tried to counter the up B to no avail, but he still has him in disadvantage. He's still keeping control of the stage. SD Sheep breaking through there, trying to cover his landing with the grab. Unsuccessful, however, he's just fighting his way out of the corner. Oh, he makes his way out just due to Poyo just hitting him out of the corner. Uh-oh. Good evasion there. Poyo's all over him. Great landing. It's so hard to uh, to juggle Corrin when she has that down air that can just drill you. Very, very nice whiff punish for that forward smash. Just a little bit slow in the reaction there from Sheep. Poyo trying to lock him down in the corner, throwing out every hitbox. And I like how he's stalling his momentum in the air with the side B. Try to mix up the timing. Look at that. But now Sheep has sort of caught onto it every time he goes up in the air. Sheep is throwing out that nair, and that um, that kick out of the pin is going to do it for that first stock. And there's the classic. The Poyo classic, baby. That Dolphin Slash out of shield is so potent, especially at those high percents. You really cannot touch his shield for free. It's going to cost you your life if you touch it. Okay. Throwing out a lot of attacks to try to control this corner here and just sort of try to suffocate Sheep and make him feel unsafe and uncomfortable here. Sheep, however, breaking through and now placing Poyo in the corner. He tries to get... Oh, he does it! He does it! At the cost of his life and the game, but he was able to secure that edge guard on Poyo. Unfortunately, losing the game. That was a really smart move, though. I think it's because he traded with Poyo's up B that it caused him to go too far to get back to the ledge. Normally, that would just be a free edge guard. Just kick towards the stage and then get the stage back on your opponent. But this time, not working out in Sheep's favor. And now he still has one more game to try to do it. But Poyo, as we've seen previously, has been doing a great job of controlling his space and staying in advantage. Like keeping his keeping his positioning in advantage and converting that into an edge guard. It's really fun to watch, honestly. Sheep breaking through at the start. Poyo with the whiff up B. I really want to see what Korra can do in terms of the punish game, because it looks like Sheep is only being able to get sort of one hit um, in each exchange. Martha's kind of built the same way. I mean, he really doesn't have moves that connect into each other really at these mid percents, but Poyo's doing it anyway. If you catch him on his double jump, that parry's going to do him in, though. He cannot get back from there. Forward smash just to be safe to keep him off stage, and then Poyo yet again winning neutral, converting that into stage control, and converting that into an edge guard. Really just textbook smash play here. Poyo. He's, he's, he's doing amazing. I really want to see what Sheep can do here. And just as I say that, lands the pin off stage in that perfect placement, hitting that sweet spot. Just destroy Poyo. How did that counter hit from behind? It's so effective. And that's another edge guard for Poyo in this matchup. It's looking like hell for Corrin. Sheep has to find a way. Oh my god. He just went for it. He, he's had enough. He said, get me off stream. Oh my god. Poyo showed up today. Man, and Poyo is not a one player that you would expect to do so well. And he's looking like well, the favorite to make it out of his pool in wave A. My goodness. And just as Jedi, Jedi said a little bit earlier, we are winding down 
on the wave A side of pools. We're about to get into wave B. We're just looking for matches right now to sort of tide you guys over and take a look at some of the, the lesser realized action that we have going on because there's a lot of players, a lot of really, really good players that are battling it out right now in their pools that more often than not would not get a chance to play on stream because we just normally put on the first or second seed uh, on stream. So we're going to have some more players come up fairly soon. Just winding down on this side of pools. It's great to see so many players come out for Hail to the King. I'm always excited for this event every time it comes around. Really, it's just... I really wish I could play, honestly. Uh, Laz, Kuma, you guys just saw. Laz and Spaz. Just went out to play in his pool. I wish I could join him. But I'm stuck here with you. God. There's not enough McDonald's power 